There was a time growing up when I was afraid to drink Coca-Cola. It had nothing to do with high fructose corn syrup or caramel color. It had to do with the old Hollywood money marketing strategy known as product placement. Damn those sneaky marketing techniques. Nightmare on Elm Street 2 Freddy's Revenge was on TV one night and it really messed me up. Nightmare 2 was not the first or even the second Nightmare movie I had seen. I had already watched the first one as well as the Dream Trilogy, Dream Warriors, Dream Master, and Dream Child. Nightmare 2 isn't really canonical. The hero of the story was male, typically Freddy squares off against a heroine. In the Freddy movies, he gets you in your sleep. If he's in your dream, he kills you. In Nightmare 2, when the hero falls asleep, Freddy possesses him and then kills people in the waking world. Now there really is no place to hide. In Nightmare 4, the heroine is eating popcorn and drinking soda in a movie theater when Freddy uses the mysterious weather patterns of a suburban cineplex to suck her into a film playing on the silver screen. Later I find out it was Pepsi, not Coke, but whatever. A year or so later, Jesse in Nightmare 2 is on my TV popping pills and drinking Coke, but he ends up turning into Freddy and murdering his friends. No way in hell I would ever drink Coke. How in the hell did the FDA allow this to hit the market? I lacked context and experience. I didn't realize that Coke was a tool to stay awake. I didn't know that it was sleep that led him to getting possessed. Good thing too, or else I might have never gone to sleep again. It was not in my experience yet that some things on TV aren't real. You cannot trust everything you see on TV. Heck, I believe the old TV shows and pictures and movies were black and white because the world used to lack color. Now be careful with this gun. It's unloaded. I didn't think that there was color in the world until sometime in the 1950s. Crayons must have been pretty boring back in the day. Nobody explained this to me. When your eyes see things, you are left to believe what you see until you are given a reason otherwise. As an adult, I eventually got a job working in television. Jennifer, your big break in TV. Welcome to prime time. 